Good morning everyone. My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Saturday morning. Good morning. Um, it's still very warm. Some people are going outside dressed in shorts still even though it's like pouring with rain because it's close. It's warm. Um, so I've, I've changed into shorts inside the flat. Alexa. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 2006, the solar system lost one of its planets. Well, it's technically still there, but a redefinition of the term meant that poor Pluto lost its planetary status. Alexa, Alexa, what's the time, please? Alexa. What's the time? The time is 11.37 a.m. So it's 11.37 a.m. Now we're just going to go through what's happened so far today. We have uh, um, an obsessed stalker that is obsessed with me, doesn't want me to go outside my flat, so tries to make me feel horrible about myself. So I have been kept awake till 3 in the morning, from incessant Facebook, uh, somebody calling on Facebook and just incessantly keep ringing my phone until three this morning. Whereupon I got up out of my bed and I switched the phone completely off. And I told you I've got members of the family, I've got an elderly mother and I need to keep my phone on. But I had to turn it off. It would not stop ringing. You answer that phone... You answer that phone and you've satisfied the stalker. You, you answer a message, you've satisfied the stalker. You ignore them, it's irritating them, it's irritating them. They want you to, to take the bait, to bite, to, to get cross, to get angry, to get upset. If you completely ignore them, they start, why aren't they talking to me? Why aren't they taking any notice of me? And they start to get angry themselves. Right, so I went to bed after I switched the phone off, so three till eight, about five hours sleep in total I've had, five hours sleep in total, because I was woken up at 1.30, this ringing of the phone and texting didn't stop till three. Um... So, me, Crystal, gets up and I told you I'd make a cup of coffee, feed the cats, tidy up, uh, wash my face, brush my hair, tie my hair back. All the things you do before you go out in the morning, right? And I always do a, a video before I go out. I always do a video to YouTube. It's become part of my routine now, my, my morning vlog. So I get up and... Um, I can see the weather's going to be shit. Um, I'm not going anywhere this weekend. I went somewhere last weekend, but this weekend, it's bank holiday weekend as well, but it's rainy and miserable, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, so, I get up, I do my video, I water my plants, um, and I had a message off a flirt finder a few days ago, a uh, cute blonde kiss. Um, I gave some money to a homeless man. He was a blonde man and he had scabs all over his hands. He did, he had spots all over himself. And I, 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 you know, I'm not stuck up like some people. I'm not stuck up. I gave this guy some money, right? And I hope he got it towards some food, right? I ain't stuck up like some people. I really am not. So we had a message, didn't we, from a cute blonde and a kiss after the message. Um, my, niece, uh, my niece is blonde. Charlotte's blonde. My sister's daughter is blonde. A lot of women dye their hair different colours, right? 
Charlotte's been all different hair colours. There's, there's natural blondes and there's bleach blondes. Blondes that have dyed their hair blonde out of a bottle. So it, I don't know whether they're a natural blonde or a bleach blonde. Because a bleach blonde is fake blonde and a real blonde is real blonde. So there you go. If you're real blonde, you're lucky, I suppose. So um, I get up this morning and I told you this stalker doesn't want me to go out. So they play on my insecurities. They make me feel bad about myself. So somebody went into the bin store. And they rattled and rattled and banged it and banged it. And you, when you hear a loud noise, you, your instinct is to go and find out what it is. So I went, I'm trying to ignore people. I'm trying to just get on with my life, watch telly, listen to music, not answer this nutcase. Uh, and I went over to the window to see what all that noise was. And I, I gathered that um, there was someone in the bin store making a racket. So I went to look out the window and see what it was. And then the woman from the, the, the block of flats down the bottom with the glasses, and remember I've just broken mine, so she had her glasses on and a hood over her head. And she was walking down the road. And then this blonde, this blonde woman was coming down the path, right? Really, you know, pretty blonde. And I'm an older woman, and I'm quite happy with myself as an older woman, and I don't want to look out the window. I, I was drawn to the window by this loud crashing in the bins. Um, so, basically, I came back in. I am insecure about myself. I'm, I'm very, very... I've got low self-esteem. So, people play on that. They play on it. And, of course, I'm getting these messages as well. Um, I want the love of a beautiful woman. That's why I got this morning on Facebook. I want the love of a beautiful woman. And I, I just completely ignored it. Right, because obviously it's done to rub me up the wrong way and make me cross. And um, I've already had why are you ignoring me. Well, I'm ignoring you because you're a, you're you're a nutcase, you're a nutter. And and you you know, it's worked before where you've been like that, and I've got extremely cross. Maybe they like older women angry. Maybe they like old grannies really cross, because there's something not right with this person at all. So I went, uh, my mum called as well. She called before I went out with Max. And um, I, me, 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 self-esteem goes down. And I think, oh, I've got to go outside, I've got to walk the dog, but I feel fucking awful. Because this pillock keeps saying, beautiful lady, beautiful, I want a beautiful woman. And I don't know what the fuck is going on, it's annoying me, I'm starting to get moody, I'm starting to feel down. Um, I've already had somebody asking me how I am this morning and I feel like crap. Life doesn't revolve around what somebody looks like. Who goes, honestly, right, who goes outside and studies somebody's face? Who goes outside and stares at people's faces? Most people are so busy with their own lives, they're, they're just not bothering. You know, you don't look. If, so, if, if someone said to me, describe somebody's face. I probably couldn't. More likely the clothes they're wearing and maybe their shoes, but not their face. I mean, who goes down the road looking at people's faces? Because I don't. So this 
this is this is people off TikTok. It's people off Facebook that are, that have been stealing my photographs, and obviously recognise me from the photographs that they've pinched. I am cross with the police. Why, why would a police officer called Underdown ask me for screenshots of sensitive material? A photograph of the so-called suspect's face. And then the suspect's phone number. And several other sensitive bits of information. And they're not doing anything about it. Because if it is a corrupt police officer, they could be using that. Well, if it's a police officer texting me, a corrupt cop, and then every time you ring the police, the same, the same police officer wants more information. It's very odd, that, isn't it? Twice the police are supposed to be coming, come out to my address. Twice the same so-called police officer has called me on the phone. And they've, they've not attended. And then he's going, give me the name of your, give me the name and the number of your, your landlord. He's gathering all this information and if they're not investigating it and they're not doing anything, what do they need it for? So I went for a walk and of course in the rain everyone's got hoods on. Of course they have hoods and umbrellas and all I'm getting is hello beautiful woman, hello beautiful lady and I think they're taking the piss out of somebody else because yes I am a woman. And it's getting me down, I'm getting fed up with it, I want my freedom, I just want to walk around around the riverside without stupid characters. I'm just being silly. I had a word with my mum last night and she just said, go about your, like most people do, go about your business and ignore it. Ignore them. Take no notice of them. I said it's extremely hard, but I will try. So we just had a little walk uh, around the riverside and I, I've come back in and I could smell weed again. Drugs! But this time it's in the corridor of where I live. It's in my level. Drugs! So if somebody is squirting themselves with aftershave to cover up the smell of drugs, that's why they're, squirt, they're squirting themselves with aftershave to, to mask the smell of cannabis. That is what they're doing. So when you, the, 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 the aftershave is covering up drug use. And it was on my level where I live. And I don't smoke and I certainly don't smoke drugs. So everything I told PC Underdown has is, is got worse, basically. The drug use is now on the level of where I live. Not in the corridor downstairs, but where, on, on the floor that I live. Drugs. You see, all people, all people get from the, from the police not doing anything, nobody doing about it doing anything about anything. Members of the public think, well, we could do what we fucking like because the police don't turn up. They're not interested in anything crystal reports. So we do it even worse, you say. And you're incessantly, you know, being high from secondhand cannabis inhalation. You're high. Start giggling and laughing at nothing. And also, someone can take an advantage of you. And if they wanted to rape you or steal something from you, couldn't they, while you're high and laughing at nothing? High from secondhand cannabis smoke. 
And this went on at the other building as well, the other one where I lived, they were all drug users. It was hard heroin. I, um, one of the residents of the flats where I lived was, a, was encouraging heroin use. And this is another reason why I don't mix with people because they involve you in drug, illegal drug use and drink. And that's another way, reason why I stay away from people. I do not want to get involved in drugs and I don't drink alcohol. See you later.